Babe, do you want to be on camera? Huh? I said, do you want to be on camera? <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time since I vlogged, at least with him. You know, I got a whole vlog with him barely in it. Y'all miss me? Because I miss y'all. <laughs> Well, anyways, we're supposed to get ready to go to a kickback. Uh, everyone is Leo's and his family. So, it's like a kickback every weekend or some type of celebration. Um, we're going to go to a kickback and eat and drink. And he ready. He got the beer. He got his beer. He ready. Number one drink of the Dallas Cowboys right here. Boy! <laughs> on that hand, like my boy Shannon. Undisputed. At 10, your boy Trey going to be on that hand. What? Who say that? I don't. Okay, well, we see y'all later. Okay, so I'm back at this place again. We leave for San Diego tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, I did not take off, so I'm heading to work, but I had to be late because I had to get my wax because I can't be on the beach, you know, so I had to. Y'all should have saw me. I waited to the very last minute to leave the house, and then I got in the car, didn't have any gas. So then I had to go down the street and just put like five dollars just to, for me to make it because you cannot be late at the european wax center I'll give you nine minutes so then i get to the gas station can't find my car i'm looking everywhere for it i had a hundred dollar bill but i didn't want to break it so after just searching everywhere i'm like i don't have time for this it's when to just go in put five dollars in the tank you know and break your hundred get back to the car pump my gas i find my car you didn't feel like in between the seats or something so i'm like oh my god what a morning i called european wax and it was like hey i'm like i might be 10 minutes late instead of nine and she was like well can you try to get here but um if you're 10 minutes late we might have to rebook you and i'm thinking i'm already late for work i can't be rebooked yeah my nurse is just so bad right now i'm like oh, i need this wax and it has to be gala like gala has to do my wax it's completely booked so i couldn't reschedule so i'm just like i'm i have an attitude now i'm going off on everybody i'm over here mad at people that pissed me off yesterday i'm just pissed off i'm speeding on the freeway hoping that i don't get a po uh, the police don't get me because i know they be hot on 20 heading to the highlands i'm just like breaking but then speeding breaking and speeding yeah this morning has been so hectic and i just decided to tell y'all because this is crazy the day before going out of town is always hectic and i should have took off what was i thinking and then i called in last friday i should have went to work last friday and took off today but guess what i'm about to go to work and do a half day i'm going in late and i'm leaving early Oh, and I forgot to tell you, yes, I ended up getting my wax. I was like two minutes past the nine minutes mark, but Gayla's sweet. She got me in, and I was like, yes, thank you so much, girl, but shout out to Gayla. I'm telling y'all, if you are wanting to try European Wax Center, please come to the one off of, um Please come to the one in the Highlands. Her name is Gayla. She is excellent. She's great, but I think she is relocating, but try to catch her if the Highlands is closer for you. And I think they are $29 for your first visit if you want a Brazilian. And then I think your underarms are free. You might have to pay like $10 for a bikini. I'm not really sure. I've only got Brazilians. But come check out your European Wax Center. They the bomb, especially Gala. It's in the Highlands. I'm not gonna show me I'm not gonna show me too much in this video because I'm just I'm pretty much turned down for bed, not a 100 percent but for the most part. But we do leave tomorrow. I don't know what time it is. I have no idea what time it might be. So I don't have a clock in my vanity room. I'm actually sitting in my vanity spot. Um, I can do y'all a vanity tour if y'all want to. This is just like my little spot where I get ready for work and do my hair and all of that. But if y'all want like a vanity tour, you know, let me know. I'll let y'all. I'll do that for y'all. Trail and LJ went to football practice and then Trail took LJ to go get like a late night haircut with his cousin. I thought I'd talk to you guys while they're away and show y'all what I pack in my toiletry bag since we, you guys were introduced to us as going out of town and it seems like that's all we've been doing since we started our channel. So I thought that it would be neat for me to show you what's in my toiletry bag just in case you could be planning it. You could be planning a first trip or you could just want ideas for your trip. I don't know. I just want to show y'all what's in my toiletry bag. Okay, so this is my toiletry bag. It's not the cutest. I probably would have chose something else. But when I first purchased this, I think we were going to Jamaica. I think I was going to Jamaica with my girls. And I was just looking for something kind of cheap and something that'll hold all my stuff. And I got this at TJ Maxx. No, I got it at Marshalls and look like it has like a little hook where you hang it on the door like this and a lot of times when you go to hotels they have like a hook on the back of the door or somewhere where you can hang this so i always just hang my bag 
like that and um the first thing i want to show y'all is my lifestyle which y'all probably saw this when we was in new orleans um i like to keep these to spray down the hotel i don't care you know the best of the best hotels still have germs and stuff so and it helps you feel better and it smells better so i'll keep lysol this is actually a light packed toiletry bag this is a family trip that we're going on and i'm going to be so comfortable because we're going to be dealing with kids my nieces and my nephews and stuff i'm going to be so comfortable i'm not bringing makeup i'm not bringing any of that i'm just bringing you know my needs to for my hygiene and me yeah i remember from my other vlog about these this lotion yeah i just put both of these in here I pack some of my husband's stuff in my toiletry bag because I'm the only one that has one. And um, I'm a part of the Sephora box club or whatever you want to call it. The Sephora. Dang, I, I'm. it's late, y'all. I can't remember the name of it. The Sephora um, like subscription where I pay $10 a month and I get like the little box. And they give me a lot of samples. So I thought that would be neat to put that in my toiletry bag. So this is, um, actually I got this from Sephora for my birthday yeah this is one of my birthday things but this is moisturizer for my face and it has um spf in it so i thought it'd be good because we're going to be in the sun a lot even though san diego that's where we're going it's the high is going to be 75 so good weather um what's down here this is my um i bought this little travel jar from walmart i think it was like 97 cents but this is my edge control since i have my braids um i want to kind of slick my edges down this is what i have in there and it works wonders even though i'm natural it kind of don't last all day but it lasts at least when i leave the house <laughs> and um these are my samples some of these were from nordstrom's that i sampled myself and then some of these are from that sephora box but i like to take these in, you know for traveling um, I decided to take um, my Tory Burch. And I have no idea what's in these Nordstrom ones because I marked them, but obviously they came off. And then I have something called Clean by Reserve. Yeah, that's that. And lastly, in this big bag, or this big section, I have my Skin Tomato, Timmy Shaving Cream. That was like a dollar something. A majority of these things came from the um, Walmart travel section. This was probably like 99 cents. This is my clean and clear. This is what I use for my to wash my face when I'm out of town because not too many options for travel size. Time I use Dove, but I don't know when I bought this. Maybe Dove was out, but I got this for my deodorant. Oh yes, this. We got this for a honey one. This is a toothbrush holder. I keep that in here because the only time I use it is when we go out of town. Trill has a Mr. one. These were um, gifts from a really good friend of the family. And I thought these were really cute. Uh, a travel tube. I got from Walmart as well. This is where I keep my feminine wash. And this right here is a disposable razor. It was like a dollar and something in the travel section. I always buy one when I go out of town. And if I use them, I throw it away after. You know, I'm done I'm on the last day of the trip. But obviously, I didn't use it the last time because it's still here. So that was like a dollar something. And me and Trail switched over to the Sensodyne toothpaste. This is Pro Namel. This this is this is the only kind that's um in a travel size too, on the top of Sensodyne. And of course I have like some sanitary napkin stuff or some sanitary items. Um this right here, I bought these like I saw these on Instagram where they you can go braless, but this does not work. I just kept them in here just in case I'm out of town one day and friend need them and it works for them. Oh, and I also keep this in there. I haven't used it. I have the big bottle in my shower, but th I like this. I'll be too lazy to put um, lotion on when I get out, and they sent this in the mail, so I just decided to put this in here. And then I also have like feminine wipes to freshen up. So, yeah, that's all I keep in my toiletry bag. So now we're about to stay up, hopefully, because our flight leaves at like 7 in the morning, and we're going to leave the house about 5 a.m., if not 4.30, 4.45. We just want to try to stay up. It's already late. Trill getting LJ a haircut. So they probably come home about 11 o'clock. So hopefully I can stay up to then. I'm going to try to finish packing me and LJ's bag. And then when they get home, maybe we'll play Uno or something. Something to keep us all up. Trill doesn't have a problem staying up with me, I will. Because I get sleepy like the last hour or two. I wanted to take a nap before they got here so i could be energized for them but i couldn't like i had to go run around and do some errands i just got my toes painted since i got a pedicure last week 
And as y'all see, my nails are still like this. I really hate it. I do not like my nails like this. But they're resting. They're resting because of the fact when I broke my nail, my nails are really, really damaged. And I had went and got a manicure and just got a color on it. And like two days later, it, my nails were just, my nails are damaged. They have to grow all the way out. So I'm trying to stay away from things and just keep it up with the manicure until they're healthy enough to at least get my gel manicure or maybe some dip powder. I don't know. But enough of my rambling. I hope y'all enjoy my little toiletry bag. Um, tour. I don't know what to call it. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if you want to see more things like what do I pack in my suitcase? What do I pack in my tote that I carry on the plane? Or if you want like a vanity tour? Or just, you know, like drop a comment and let me know what y'all want to see. I don't mind. Especially on days like this when I'm bored and day away from the house and I don't have anything to do. I don't mind filming things that are requested. So just, you know, drop a comment below or... Follow us on IG at Kirkland Chronicles, Chronicles with the K, and DM me or comment on a picture and just let me know what you want us to film because I don't mind.